process you have to apply. Now, just I will give you an example because in one workshop I cannot explain all six framework. It will be very diff it is it is a time consuming process. Who are a like a CAT 21 premium student in during your vocab session, all six framework I will try to conceptualize and I will try to explain. But that much is not needed for your CAT preparation due to I will not go in that much lengthy process. But what is needed? I will give you full detail and full list of ideas and idea unit and how to understand it. Framework one name is God, space and time due to I given you the all background because everything is starting from nothing. Here five ideations are there and almost 100 idea unit will be there in framework one. How much clarity you are getting just to think and you just rewind your time, maybe last 10 years or 15 years, any point of time. Did you got this type of conceptual conceptual clarity about the vocab built up? I think no. Ideation one. Just I will discuss now this out of five ideation. First ideation is before God and universe. Now our focus is these three building block. This will flow in your uh, you can say whatever natural flow is there. Just you think before God, God, universe after universe, our solar system after solar system, this earth after earth atmosphere on the earth surface and below the earth surface on the earth surface. What are the creatures? You will learn about that. Below the earth surface, what are the things? About the minerals, about the water, about the lava, whatever is there, you will learn about that. Once we are coming to our all these things, most important is human being, person, man. We will focus on that. Two framework will be dedicated about the man. Their biology, their thinking, their, uh, their afterwards uh, socialization, everything. And afterwards, man will start to become a uh, you can say thinking wise very mature and they will start to get the wisdom but after wisdom again no point of thinking we don't know then we will start with nothing will again end with nothing and this will be whole process of vocabulary building then before God God universe now these three idea unit just will try to understand this is your before God what was before God nothing Nothing has come from a root thinga that is from Proto-Germanic. No need to worry what is Proto-Germanic, what is Indo-European. I will give you the clear cut idea, not today. Uh, oh, in premium classes it is there, but some other uh, workshop I will give you the idea how language has emerged because now it will become a much, if I will give you it will take much time. Then here thinga root, thinga is a root, it is coming from Proto-Germanic. No thinga, no thinga means, meaning is assembly thinga means assembly if no person in assembly this is called no thinga actually it was a countable noun only but now we are using in uncountable format also do you have some milk nothing milk is a uncountable noun means now nothing is used for countable noun also uncountable noun. just to think what we can make related to this nothing means no one none not anything not something null all words are related but you are very clear all these words are related to ideation and that ideation is before god and universe and that is related to your first framework that is god of space and time related to nothing we can make multiple you can say format of learning like do nothing no nothing nothingness nothingness nothing arian amounting to nothing zero cipher now nil out all are related to nothing. What you are learning now? Before God. Before God, what was there? Nothing was there. Now tools for vocabulary. I will explain a little bit more. What tools we are using here? Origin. It is very beautiful, beautiful story. I don't have that much time, but very beautiful story are there. Every word, how it is originated. Then after origin, root word, prefix, suffix, context of use. That is you have to work out that because all these things are almost fixed root prefix suffix but context of use are variable you can just make it is a mathematics it is a constant it is a variable and variable you must be careful you must work out it may be figurative use it may be direct use it may be in the form of figure of a speech it may be in the form of uh, uh, you can say many of the many of the things maybe it will be context of use 
it will be very vast pronunciation again this is almost fixed but you can say depends on the region and usage and uh, you can say geography it will be little change everything is acceptable like indian uh, indian accent are acceptable worldwide similar way if you are going to the uh, uh, like a french people or spanish people their accent of english is also acceptable then pronunciation you can say little subjective most of the concept are fixed but many have to work out on the context of usage origin it will all origin you can say a story type if you are learning in a story way or you are listening it will be interesting but uh, you can say examination point of view it is not much helpful but we know we should understand or we should know about this a story because it will be a good narrative to memorize it root of the words again how prefix and suffix will change it the meaning of the root that also we should know we'll discuss it now i am coming to the your next idea unit that is before god nothing was there from nothing not much word will, will be there we almost gather 20 words related to nothing now we'll come to the next idea unit that is your god now first thing is coming in your mind god then what we are thinking god is sacred just natural way don't don't apply any book is knowledge what we are thinking god god is sacred god is holy god is worshiped pray to god if you are doing the pray you will do the devotion if you are doing the devotion then you may be loyal or may be disloyal god is having supernatural power god is created based on the some fact or mostly mythological creatures like uh, jupiter titan these all are like greek uh, greek gods it's a mythology where gods are living imaginative point 7 imaginative or real we don't know actually we don't know just opposite of god devil devil are doing magic black magic necromancy sacrosancy where they are living in hell heaven hell how much concept you can say logical flow you understand now this simple logical flow we will able to gather more than 100 words and all 100 words will be attached with one small tiny points that is god if we understand in this way of conceptual flow or diagram if we create a good narrative or a story to understand like just suppose this full block if we are creating a one narrative or one story how much it will be enjoyable process to build up your vocabulary very enjoyable process you will never lost your interest now i am just explaining god i don't know how to explain we don't know nothing about god god is coming greek root words of theos now god is god is you can say worshiped or god uh, you can say believe in different different format at different part of world parallel words this is parallel words you can say god parallel words you can say supreme deity almighty the all powerful brahma brahma also a english word acceptable the creator the lord omnipotent the spirit titan jupiter siren zeus all are a parallel word to god god is sacred another point we got latin root of sacer means holy i think this you will never forget god god is sac- sacred god is worshiped no god is worshiped worship is nothing it is it uh, made by two words worth and ship if any ship actually meaning was there if it is coming towards your port if it is a it is you can say full of the important object, important articles or important things then we can say it is a worth ship that is shortcut is a worship that is god god we are doing worship that is ritual or you can say glorify idolize all our worshiping process i have just discussed few we'll just start to connect only the thing we should know where to cut it because once you will keep on move then again you will come to the same point again you will then again it will be confusion circularity we will not do here we'll just move three four points like this way god god is sacred holy worshiped god devotion again loyal loyal will come here so many meaning loyalty is not to towards god only loyalty is coming toward many of the things then if you will further make the chain then it will be confusion then only three four step you make close it three four step you make close it then it will be a conceptual idea unit now just suppose if you know the theos now understanding and memorizing all these word will be easy 
theist, atheist, theology, theocracy, pantheon, apotheosis, thearchy, theocentric, theocrat, theodicy, agnosticism, monotheism, bithism, polytheism, theopantheism. Multiple words. This is only related to this root. If you will come to the parallel words of God again, we will able to create. Like if you are coming to the like uh, Almighty, then Almighty again having the different root based on that we will. Due to we should not create here chain reaction. Then what will happen? You will get confusion. Where to cut this chain? We must know to learn in this way, this linear way. Automatically everything will be covered in systematic way. That much word. Now we'll come to the sacr. Sacr. How many words are there? Sanctuary. This is a word from coming from sacr. Sacrosanct. Consecration. Desecration. Sacrilege. Execrate. Sanctify. Sanctum. Sanction. All these words are coming. Meaning is holy. 